All right, it's almost go time to plant for this season. Before I drag the planter out of our shop here, I've got one more critical step that I'm going to take before we start planting. That step is what I call indexing the row units. So to do that, I'm going to take two pieces of square tubing, two inch by two inch at about a foot, foot and a half uh, length. Uh, you can also use three by three square tubing as well if you would like. My next step is we're going to deepen up the T-handle as far as I can. So right there, planter is on the ground, by the way, in planting condition. And then what I'm gonna do is we're going to take that square tubing, we're gonna lift up the gauge wheels one at a time here, and we're gonna slide that square tubing in, filing the opener. I want to have that square tubing leaned up against the opener from front to back, all the way across, and then set the gauge wheel down on top. We'll do the other side right here and set that gauge wheel down. Next step is we're gonna take that T-handle and we're going to shallow it all the way up so I can go no further. So right there is where we land. That is notch finger and three. Then we will go to each individual row after that and we'll do the same exact steps. The last step I will make is labeling every single row with a filter marker. That's my zero point. So you know if we start changing depth, we go down here and say somebody messes up a row, I know my home place to get back to. Not all your T-handles will be the same after you do this process. So on this planter today, 16 row corn units and 16 row split row units in the front of the planter. Here's what we end up with. On the corn rows, we've got six at notch four and three, and we've got 10 at notch four and four. So not too bad, they're actually pretty consistent. Um, they're only a quarter of an inch off of each other. The parallel arm assemblies on the back of this planter were new in 2023. So not a whole lot of wear inside that ear today where that dog bone goes through to set the depth. Now on the front rows, a little bit different story here. We got different things going on. I've got four at four and three, nine at four and four, two at three and three, and one at five and four. So a couple things going on here. Here's what's happened. Number one, the gauge wheel arm assemblies are factory to the planter. So they have more wear than the new arms on the back row units. Also on the front rows, we've got some row units that we've installed Norseman gauge wheel arms on. And that's because we could not get the contact to the opener with the factory arms. We want to definitely make sure we index a corn planter unit if we've made any changes to the depth assembly gauge wheel arms or any of the depth mechanisms inside the shank. So we've done that. I think that's why the front is a little bit more inconsistent. We've labeled all those rows. We're ready to go to the field. My goal of this is to get these row units to where they're all planting at the same depth. The T-handles will be at different positions, but it is going to plant at the same depth on every single row. I also recently indexed a John Deere planter for a customer. And it's a 24 row, two year old, 1775. And it had five or six rows that were off as well. A picture of that chart with my chart is below. I find this to be critical. It's not gonna cost you any money to do this step, just a little bit of time. And it's gonna make you a little bit more money out there in your field for having your rows come up at the same time because your depth is more consistent. Corn planters that you can actually get the depth handles equal on those row units are the precision planting row units, White and Case IH. Kinsey and John Deere, you cannot recalibrate these. They are where they land when you do this step. Thanks for tuning in. Let us know if you've got any questions about this process.